In this quick video here, we're going to go through how to rebuild a catalyst slate pump. Uh, the low pressure and high pressure catalyst pumps are rebuilt the same way. The first thing I'm going to cover is a quick rebuild. You just want to put new seals in your catalyst pump. Now I've already loosened some of these uh, bolts and nuts uh, to make the video go quicker, but to do a quick rebuild, all I want to do is unthread the top housing. This housing here contains all of our seals, our two upper seals and our one lower seal. Now the material itself, is the pressure is trapped between this upper seal and this lower seal. This port right here is a pressure or safety relief uh, porting. If the upper seal goes bad, instead of catalyst squirting out of the pump or running down the pump onto the floor, the catalyst will go through the tube back to your overflow bottle or your catalyst bottle. Uh, but we're going to Go through how to rebuild this real quick. Bottom here, I'm going to take my five sixteenths wrench and my seven thirty seconds wrench hold my shaft and unscrew the bottom transfer housing. Now you want to be careful there's a small ball and spring in the bottom of this transfer housing that we don't want to lose. Now I want to take Now in the transfer housing, there's a soft nylon seat in here. Do not try to remove this nylon seat. That, that seat is machined in. Uh, you should not have wear in that seat because it's catalyst and catalyst isn't abrasive. But uh, if the seat for some reason comes out or is damaged, uh, you will need to replace the housing uh, in order to replace that soft seat. But you've got it apart. The least you can do is uh, Use a Q-tip or something to clean that out. Make sure there's no uh, catalyst crystals down in that seat. Make sure that uh, that seat area is nice and clean. If you look at your drawing, you'll see that the ball goes in first, and then the spring. And I like to use a blue Loctite or semi-permanent Loctite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace my seal. And the metals on, on all the seals, there's a metal spring in each seal. It's the easy, easiest way to remember it's the metal always faces towards the liquid. So this seal here, the metal or the spring side, will actually face up. Then you'll want to put on the seal spacer. And the seal spacer is just a guide for the, for the pump shaft. If the seal was to disintegrate or break apart, we don't want the metal sh pump shaft uh, scratching into the pump cylinder. And that's the purpose of the seal spacer. These threads here, I also like to put a drop of semi-removable Loctite or permanent Loctite. It's usually not a good idea to use permanent Loctite because we, we will probably eventually be taking this back apart again. I'm going to install my new crush washer here. Now the top housing that holds my two upper seals just take a hook pick to remove the lower upper seal, if you will. Then I'm going to use my snap ring pliers to remove the snap ring at the top. You've got two felt washers. Then we have another snap ring. seal washer, then you have another seal, the upper upper seal if you will. Now to replace it, the first thing I'm going to do is drop 
Now there's also a nylon housing inside this casing. Do not try to remove that nylon housing. That is arbor pressed in. Uh, you'll never get it replaced. Uh, if, it is, if it does become damaged, you will have to replace the entire housing. But there's no reason to remove it or, re or replace it. The first thing I'm going to do is, my, now my upper seals, remember the metal part of the springs faces towards the liquid. So this top one, the metal is going to face down. I'm going to drop in my seal washer that holds the seal in place. My snap ring. Reinstall my snap ring. Reinstall my two felt washers. Reinstall my top snap ring. Now the lower upper seal just snaps in underneath. Metal down. The metal part of the spring faces down. Now I like to put a little bit of Teflon tape on these upper threads before I thread the pump shaft back through so I don't go and uh, damage my seals.